You know, there ain't a whole lot uh, easier than setting a rat trap or a mouse trap, but every now and then we come along and we find them popped or the bait taken and all that stuff and um, get a little frustrated. So, you know, we end up setting a lot more traps than we need to. I can help your game a little bit here by uh, modifying these traps and the way you bait them and the way you set them. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna mark right here where we want the center of a hole to be. And then we're gonna remove this just for the pliers and then put it back on after we drill the hole. So I'm gonna show you a little bit here. Like this here, look at this mess. Uh, this is what I use to drill the hole. I can make it any size I want and um, stop whenever I want, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now here we are. We got the, we got the uh, trap, you know, the bait hole in there. And we're gonna put this back in. Right? And then we just, you're gonna have to beat it down a little bit. You can't just push it down with your thumb. But anyway, you see what's going on here. You put it on a flat surface, put it on a piece of one by or whatever. And um, then you put your bait in the, in the thing there, in the little hole that you made. And uh, the animals have to work at it to get at your bait. So they're gonna have to hit this eventually. And a lot of times, you know, with the bait that I make, they, uh, you, you can catch seven or eight flying squirrels or red squirrels, whatever, before you even have to rebait the trap, as long as it doesn't rain, because that bait will wash away in the rain. Anyway, that's the tip of the week. So uh, there you are.